everyone, it's a sunny day in London here today and we're going to tell you all about the new user interface and features that we've added to the Fing app. I've got with me here Teddy and Ava and myself, Violet, and we're all marketing managers here at Fing. The Fing app has a brand new look and it's a lot more pleasant on the eyes. In addition, it's a lot more intuitive so you can easily find and use all the features that Fing has to offer. This is a completely new navigation. If you're a free Fing app user, you can then go to your toolbar and you'll see devices, network, and events. Here, there has not been a major change. You can see all the connected devices to your network. If you click on this tab, you can see that you can search, export, clear devices, order them, filter them, or even get alerts. The major change has been that instead of going to your network tab, you can click here on the top where your network is and you can choose which network you would like to look over. In the new Fing app, if you navigate to the networks tab, you'll be able to access all the tools for your network like scan services, ping, and DNS lookup, and you can also get the details about your network by clicking into it. Um, as the same as the devices tab, you can also change networks directly from the network tab. Um, and if you click on the avatar, you can access the details about your account and you can also add a thing box to your network um, uh, view and view various app settings. Um, if you click on the events tab, you'll get a timeline of everything that happened on your network since your previous scan. So you'll see uh, when devices join the network and any changes since your previous scan. Um, you can also uh, change networks directly from that tab, which just makes getting from one network to another throughout the app a lot easier. So if we go onto a Fingbox network and head down to the network tab, this is where you'll find all your um, security and troubleshooting tools. They're categorized under two sections. We have protection and performance. So if we look at the protection category, uh, we have, first of all, recent events. And this will show you any sort of security-related thing that has happened on your network, uh, whether it's a test you performed or um, an outage. Uh, you can see it all here. Uh, you'll also find the vulnerability test. And this was previously known as the internet security check. So it allows you to perform a test and see uh, where there are vulnerabilities in your network. Uh, this is performed automatically uh, on a weekly basis, but you can also do an on-demand test by clicking on the curly arrow in the top right-hand corner. Uh, if you click on the little book icon, uh, you'll come to an entire log of all your previous uh, tests. And you can click on any of these and see what the results were for that test. Uh, this test tells you things like uh, if your route has automatic port forwarding on it or a firewall. Uh, it also tells you uh, all the ports that are open. And if you do have automatic port forwarding on your router, you can then close those ports from Thingbox. So if we go back to the protection category, uh, under here you'll find the Wi-Fi intrusion protection. Now this uh, alerts you to any Wi-Fi attacks that are going on on your network. So uh, things like evil twin access points uh, and deauth attacks. So you can easily just enable or disable this feature here. And uh, when it's enabled, you will receive alerts to your phone or your email uh, inform you what the attack is and what sort of action you can take. If you scroll to the bottom of the network tab, you'll be able to access performance-related features. If you click on internet speed, uh, you can see the upload, download, and latency of your network. You can click the play button to run an internet speed test. And if you click on scoreboard, you'll be able to see how your ISP ranks compared to those in your city and country. If you click on Wi-Fi performance, uh, you can run a Wi-Fi performance test by moving around your home and seeing where dead zones or where you get less service than other places in your home. If you click on bandwidth analysis, you can select the devices you'd like to analyze and run a bandwidth analysis test to find out which device is hogging all the internet speed. If you click on recent events, you'll be able to see every performance-related event that uh, has been done on your network, like internet speed tests, bandwidth analysis, etc. This is the People's tab. Here you can see all the assigned users 
and all the devices that have been assigned to each one of them. If you pick one, it has a completely new feel on how you can pause the devices of that user. In this case, you can just click on the button and you can choose within 30 minutes, one hour, or even forever to block that device. If you want to resume internet, you can just click back on it. Here you also have a new, completely new chart of the digital presence of your household or your network. You can see who has been online and at what time. This chart will last for 24 hours and you can also see the events of when each device connected. Here you can also see your digital fence. When you click on it, it will have the same feel as before. You can see all the devices that are in the proximity of your thing box. Here you can see the blocked and paused devices. If you click on restricted devices, you're going to see the devices that have been currently paused. So in this case, you can see Teddy's, Teddy's phone. If you would like to resume it, you can just click on resume and it is back online. Here you can schedule a pause uh, for parental control. As you can see, a homework schedule has been implemented. If I click on it, I can see the outages is between Monday and Friday between 3 and 5 p.m. If you want to uh, schedule a new pause, you can click the plus icon and schedule an outage for homework, bedtime, or any other generic time you'd like to get your kids offline. So that was a quick overview of the new FING user interface. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up or leave some comments below. Remember, you can reach out to us anytime on support at fig.io and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Have a great day. Goodbye.